first tonight at 11. It's election night all across the country and right here in Metro Atlanta. And right now results are starting to roll in for the mayor's race. We're talking about from all the city mayor's race, uh, the city councils and the school board. That includes the races for five seats on the Atlanta Public Schools Board. So let's get you straight to the very latest results that we have. Starting in District 1 with incumbent Katie Howard. She ran unopposed tonight, so she will continue to serve on the board. Moving on to District 3, that's where incumbent Michelle Olympiados is taking on opponent Ken Zeff. Now, Olympiados is a former business executive with a history in education, while Zeff is the founder of education nonprofit Learn for Life. So here are the unofficial results tonight. You can see Zeff currently in the lead with a, a healthy lead, 65%. Uh, over incumbent Olympiadas. That is where we stand right now. Um, next, we're talking about District 5 tonight. Erica Mitchell is facing off for a third time against Rainer Johnson. She defeated him in 2017 and once again two years ago in 2021. Well, tonight, unofficial results show Mitchell is on her way to a three-peat. She currently has 70% of the vote. And tonight, there are two at-large seats up for grabs. In District 7, incumbent Tamara Jones is up against two opponents, Alfred Shivey Brooks and William Sardin. But here are the District 7 results so far. So right now, it is also almost dead even. The incumbent Jones and Brooks could be heading to a runoff if neither gets that 50% plus one. And finally, let's talk District 9, where Jessica Johnson is attempting to hold on to her at-large seat from Nikoyo F. Young Lewis. Now, incumbent Johnson is in the lead tonight with 54% of the vote. And, of course, we will continue to track those for you. But we do want to bring in 11 Lives' Don White live for us now in Buckhead. And, Don, you spoke with voters tonight about what pushed them to get out to the polls. What do they have to say here? Ron and Jennifer, most of the voters that I spoke with here at the Buckhead Library say what they want is consistency and quality. The district has had four superintendents since 2014, and inside the schools, parents say they want good teachers and safe classrooms. While officials expected low turnout, many people had their priorities in mind while voting at the Buckhead Library Tuesday. I reviewed each of their websites and, and did my research. Joe Crowley has a 10-year-old daughter and made sure he did his homework to cast his vote for the Atlanta School Board candidate who represents similar priorities for his family. The important things for me in voting on a school board are really thinking about people who are thinking about the future of education, progressive education, making sure we have the technical resources needed for Atlanta Public Schools. Inclusion was another important topic for the voters we spoke to. Someone who is interested in special ed and inclusion and someone who wasn't necessarily interested in a political as well as making sure students have the grades to get into college and succeed in their next steps. I'm hoping and trusting that they are competent enough to understand and know what the needs are for our youth today because our youth are our future. Another big issue for voters is a revolving door of superintendents. APS has its fourth superintendent in a decade. The district currently has an interim superintendent while the school board looks for a permanent replacement. And I think consistency is always important. Hopefully the people on the board are looking at that and trying to figure out what what we need and what some of the pitfalls have been in the past. Ahead of Election Day, the candidates told 11 Alive their top concerns are improving leadership at the top, test scores and embracing diversity. The board is responsible for about 50,000 students and oversees a $1.6 billion budget.